Hi, this is Mato. In this video, I'm going to show you the game between Bobby Fischer and Robin Fine. The game was played in 1963. Many people believe that Bobby Fischer is the best chess player of all times. Well, even more people believe that Gary Kasparov is the best player of all times. But one thing is for sure, Bobby Fischer was chess genius. And in this game, you will see one of his brilliances. The opening is called Evans Gambit. Okay, so let's see how the game goes. And now uh, Evans Gambit move is B4 here. So Bishop takes. Knight also can take. C3. And now Bishop has a choice to go to E7. Maybe uh, D6 is not so popular because it's blocking D7 pawn. Uh, Bishop to a5 was played in this game, and move is ok. Now d4, and uh, black takes. Now as you can see, you can't take because pawn is pinned. The other option is to take with the knight, but Fischer didn't play uh, neither of these. Instead, of he castles here. So black is happy to get one more pawn here. Now it is white to move, so he brings queen to b3, as you can see bishop Queen and Bishop are lining against uh, f7. So Queen e7 comes to help the Black King. Knight c3 was played. Knight is developed. He captures the piece at uh, the pawn, not the piece. Now Bishop can take here, but he doesn't like to give his Bishop for the Knight. Instead, Black uh, brings the Knight, and uh, next thing he would like to castle, and uh, he would like to defend his position because in the end game black would win he has more pawns but Fischer is not giving him a break he doesn't like him he's not going to let him to castle so how do you continue if you are white what would you play but Fischer played knight d5 attacking the queen so since black was not happy to move the queen around and and have this knight in the center of the board, he just takes here. Okay, if you are white in this position, how do you take? Would you like would you take this way? Well if you take this way, then black would castle and uh, <laughs> black would probably win the game if you do this. So taking with the bishop is not good. You have to take with the pawn and to keep initiative here. Because now he hasn't got time to castle, he has to move his knight either here or let's say if he goes there this is not good because of bishop a3 and after d6 uh, can you see next move that white does can you see queen gives check checks and attacks the bishop so this is a fork so knight d8 is not a good move anyway um, so what's left here he plays knight to e5 and uh, knight takes queen takes so black is still one move away from castling and at this stage black is even attacking the rook here on a1 so how do you defend how do you defend this well if you play like this uh, just defending that is very poor defense because you are allowing black to castle but even he does have to castle that is he has this move bishop c3 so as you can see queen b1 is the wrong move you have to defend but also attack at the same time uh, which move does this but if you saw this, uh, that's excellent. Uh, that's that's the move. So, bishop is attacking the queen, and it's also attacking pawn on g7 here. Plus, now these rooks are free to move on the first rank here. Okay, so queen has to move, and and uh, he wants to. Black wants to keep the queen uh, to on g file to protect the pawn. Uh, so white offers a pawn, h4 pawn for uh, g7, black queen takes, so he takes this one, and black is not, he won't be able to castle now, he, he has to move the rook. Um, okay, seems that black king is in a bit of trouble here, but uh, you can't place the rook here because bishop would take the rook. Or maybe you can, what do you think? Can you give check with rook or on e1? Yes, you can. Either rook going to e1 is fine, because if bishop takes, another rook 
just takes his place and uh, yeah, look at this they are not doing anything so bishop d is the active pc and and that's why black even didn't take this rook on e1 instead he moved king to d8 okay now it is why to move how would you continue here um, as you can see rook is controlling this file if you can bring rook uh, sorry bishop to f6 that would be good move that would be checkmate if the queen wasn't here so if you can deflect the queen from protecting that f6 square then you win the game what is the move well if you saw queen g3 congratulations because after queen takes you take not <laughs> this is a mistake now because white is uh, losing the game so don't forget uh, after queen g3 you don't take you have to keep your eyes on the black king don't be distracted this is the move and uh, this is checkmate this is a brilliant victory by Bobby Fischer thank you for watching this game I hope you enjoyed it